Good morning, Shomet High, and welcome to another edition of Hoot in the Morning. I'm Lena Delta. I'm Connor Kinney. And I'm Logan Dusang. Now here's Kaiki Bueno with the pledge. Would everyone please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Thank you, Lena, Logan, Connor, and Kaiki for your special help today with this edition of Our Watch News. And thank all of you for tuning in today. Mr. Warner is away from the office for a few days, but let me remind you that he would tell you the choices you make today shape your world tomorrow. Our goal is to share information with you and encourage you to stay strong as we all experience the pandemic. As you are aware, because of the pandemic, so much of the situation is ever changing. We will update you as the issues are settled. Know that our goal is to make you sure all of you are aware of the activities we look forward to are not forgotten. As soon as we are able, based on the guidelines to keep us all safe and healthy, we will try to get you as many of these activities accomplished and scheduled as possible. Now for some specific information about the activities. This is mainly for seniors. As most of you seniors are aware, the senior trip has been canceled. We are working on getting refunds to you and will keep you posted on how and when that will happen. Graduation is still a question also. We are working with the Lakefront Arena on an alternate date. Again, we will keep you informed as to the plans as the plans come together for that event. We are working with Balfour to develop a process to distribute your senior supplies. Caps and gowns will be distributed prior to your graduation ceremony. Prom is another big question. The stay at home order has been extended to at least April 30th. We are working with the hotel on an alternate date and will keep you informed. In the meantime, check your teacher's web pages for academic activities, read as much as possible and be patient with the stay at home order and heed the advice of our officials. Let's all be responsible and keep ourselves and one another safe. Talk to you again soon. Miss you guys and gals. Go Owls. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well at this time. I would like to talk to some of you about time that you may owe us due to missed days. Uh, originally, we had said the end of April for this time. Uh, we know though at this present time with the pandemic that that's not going to happen. So once we come back, we will try to figure out a plan, you know, just check the website and that's all we can do for now. We don't really have an answer for you. Seniors, uh, I know y'all have more questions about this. We're waiting to hear from the state to get more information. Once we hear about that, hopefully later this week, we will also put that on the website and inform you as well. Okay, so if you have any questions, like we say, check the website. So please continue to stay safe, keep your families well, social distancing. And now to Ms. Watson for some more important information. Hi Owls, I hope you and your families are doing well. We miss you all and we hope to see you again real soon. We know that many of you have been listening to the news and you know that the governor does plan to extend our school closures past the original April 13th date. This brings lots of questions and concerns from you and our families. Please know that we have those same questions and concerns, and we hope to come on again to give you more information about prom, graduation, AP testing, earning credits, and making up time when we have more information. Until then, continue to visit our home learning page and your teacher's pages on the Shelmet High website. While we are out, we would like you to move forward with our scheduling process. Many of you have already met with your counselor to schedule your courses for the 2020-2021 school year. For those of you who have not, we want to provide you with an alternative way to select your courses for next school year. We have added a scheduling page on our CHS website under the Academics tab. It will also be important for you to access our scheduling document that will provide you and your parents or guardians with important information that you'll need to request your course choices for next year. Your transcripts have also been uploaded to your Home Access Center account, just in case you want to review the courses you've already taken. Your Home Access Center account logins can be found on the sticker in the inside cover of your agenda. Once you've submitted the scheduling form, your counselor will review your selections and call you if more information is needed. If you have any questions about scheduling or completing the form, 
please email your grade level counselor or me. All of our email addresses can be found on our school website. Please continue to practice social distancing and we hope to see you soon. Go Owls! Now here's Ms. LaBeouf for some important information about dual enrollment. Hi everybody, Ms. LaBeouf here. Just hope you're doing well and I have a few dual enrollment reminders for you. First of all, if you are still interested in taking a dual enrollment class next year, whether you are taking it for the first time or you want to continue your program of study, I need you to fill out the dual enrollment interest application that is located on the scheduling tab that Ms. Watson just told you about. If you've already turned it in, that's fine. You don't need to fill it out again. If you are currently enrolled in a dual enrollment class for the 2019-2020 school year, all of your classes have been moved online. So please be sure to check Canvas on Nunez's website every day to complete your assignments. And also, please be sure to check my teacher page for important updates and reminders. And feel free to email me if you have any questions, concerns, or if you need anything. First off, depending on when you're watching this, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Chalmette High School. As you can see, I still have this godforsaken mustache on my face. I'm a man of my words. So I'm going to keep it till May. Enjoy it while it lasts. Also, I hope that each and every one of you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe. And most importantly, I hope you're being good as well. Now, I know that we're all going through this tough time together, okay? And no one really has any answers, and that is very difficult. But Ms. Boacco and I, we are here to give you a few pointers to help continue to get through this. First off, what I need you to do, find your routine. Get a routine, find it, keep it, stay with it. Especially for going to sleep and waking up. You don't need to wake up at 1 o'clock. Wake up in the morning, get some stuff together. Be sure, take a bath, do your hair. Get dressed, get some schoolwork done, okay? Be active, but be sure again to separate your work and your school time from your fun time, okay? But try and set a routine to try and get through this. Now, what's also really important, while we're away from school, you should identify a few goals that you'd like to accomplish. Keep in mind that your goals need to be realistic, but be ambitious about what you might be able to accomplish during your time away from school. You also need to take the time to monitor how you're doing on these goals. Make yourself a little guideline or a timeline so that you can monitor how well you're doing. What is also really important during this time is to stay connected with your friends and your family, but we have to do this digitally. So as we go through the next few weeks, be sure to log in and stay in touch with your friends. It also is a time that you could tap into your creative side, learn to draw, learn to cook, possibly even learn to sew, but always stay active. Yes, stay active. Be active, be active, be active. While practicing good social distancing, please go outside, exercise, go for a run, go for a walk, do some yoga. Get about 30 minutes a day of some active type stuff, okay? Keeps you fit. It's going to take some of that stress away. There are millions of exercise routines that are out there on the internet. Try to find something. Stay healthy. Stay active. Now, something else you could do during this time is learn something new. So, I always try to tap into new things by either reading a new book, but this is also a time that you could download an app and possibly even learn a new language. Who knows, maybe you could even teach yourself to play the guitar. But you always have IXL if that's what you're looking for. <laughs> Do a new strand, math or English or one a day. But let's take this time to learn something new or possibly even travel to a new place that you wouldn't have an opportunity to go. Virtual tours are everywhere online. You could go to France and visit the Louvre. You could even go to Amsterdam and go to Van Gogh's museum. So if you want to stay in the United States, right here we've got the uh, Monterey Bay Aquarium. We also have the San Diego Zoo. Many virtual field trips are waiting for you to travel to a new place right in your own home. And as Ms. Boakle said, guys, stay connected. Practice your social distancing, but stay connected. Keep reach out to others. Use your FaceTime, use your Snapchat, phone calls, texting, your friends, your family. And also, shoot an email to your teachers, okay? Because I know you may not say it, but I know deep down, each and every single one of you guys, you're missing school a little bit. And you're missing your teachers as well. And guess what? We're missing you. They're missing you. So send them a little message. Check in on them. They would love to hear from you to see how you're doing as well, okay? So... Stay connected, stay hydrated, stay well, do what you have to do, and lastly, 
take care of yourself, okay? And I understand some of us may not have access to certain things, but if you didn't know this, the Shalmet High School, our clinic, the clinic here at the school, is still open if you need them, okay? Your health, your well-being, that's always our number one priority, so give them a call if you need them. We posted on um, Shalmet High School social media outlets the number to the clinic, so if you need that, you can reach out to them, give them a call. Be sure to follow the guidelines. Be careful. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We love you. We miss you. We'll see you soon. And one last thing, Good. stay out of my office. Oh. See? Stay out of my office. All right. Y'all doing a great job. I'm having some withdrawals. I haven't suspended anybody in about three weeks, but I'm doing all right. Stay good. Stay out of your parents' office. Stay out of the police office. Stay out of all these offices. Just stay good. Okay? So, again, stay out of trouble. Be good for your parents. Stay safe. I love you. We love you. We love you. We miss you. Okay? Bye, guys. Bye, guys. See y'all soon. We'll see you next time. We'll come back with more important information and keep you informed. Thanks again for tuning in. See you soon. And remember, good owls always give, give a, a hoot. hoot. Bye, guys. See you guys. <laughs>